Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back once again to another video. Um, today I thought I would talk about um, a Linux distribution that I've been using for about uh, a week now on my Dell Latitude E7470. Um, so you guys know that I currently use Linux Mint XFCE on my workstation computer, right? Well, um, I've been running KDE Neon, the newest version that is... Uh, the newest stable release that is um, on my uh, business laptop, my Dell Latitude E7470, um, as I said, for about a week now, and it, I have had a wonderful experience, and uh, one of my favorite things about um, uh, using this distribution is, uh, since I do have a touchscreen display, um, I did um, notice that they actually implemented um, like scrolling as well as multi-touch gestures on the touch screen. So you guys can see there, that's me using uh, two finger zoom um, on my touch screen. So yeah, overall it is a great, um, it, 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 it works really well uh, with my touch screen. Now, I don't know if this is actually like just a, a, a KDE plasma thing or even just a KDE neon Linux distribution thing. Like I have not tried it on Ubuntu or Linux Mint, so I am completely unaware if this is a feature that is implemented on all other Linux distributions or even just Ubuntu Linux distributions. Um, you guys get the idea. So yeah, I am unaware if it's just a KDE Plasma thing, or uh, I apologize, a KDE Neon thing or a KDE Plasma thing or whatever the case may be. Um, but um, with that... Um, two finger zoom gesture and stuff it's, it really comes in handy so I'm just gonna thank uh, KDE Neon for that so thank you KDE Neon <laughs> I love the, how that feature is finally implemented into this uh, into your distribution into XFC or I apologize into KDE Neon KDE Plasma the KDE Plasma desktop environment <clears throat> alrighty um, so yeah let's uh, let's I guess we can just go over um, a little bit about uh, KDE Neon. So yeah, as I said, this is the newest stable release of this distribution, and it is probably the least buggy um, KDE Neon release that I've ever used. Um, and that's that that says a lot. That's a really good thing um, that there's not so much lag and so much bugginess. Like actually, uh, especially when I'm not recording, uh, there's no lag whatsoever when I'm opening menus and opening cl closing windows and moving around windows and stuff like that so yeah overall it is a very stable release of the KDE Neon Linux distribution um, I definitely recommend it is a great Linux di distribution if you want to get into sort of the Ubuntu um, sort of thing uh, I do actually prefer it as opposed to Kubuntu um, I did see some bugs on Kubuntu I could I mean, I haven't used Kubuntu in about a month or two now, um, so I'm not 100% sure if they got everything fixed. But from my experience, um, my basically my entire history, um, KDE Neon versus Kubuntu, is that KDE Neon um, is just superior in um, almost every way because I've seen basically zero bugginess now there was one point where I tried opening a video file and it didn't open and I had to reboot my system in order for it to open but who knows that could just be a VLC media player thing we'll, we'll never know because you know I never tried opening it with a different media player <laughs> um, yeah guys so it is a it is a wonderful Linux distribution I will leave a link in the video description to download and install KDE Neon um, yourself so yeah, once again, very nice Linux distribution. I definitely approve. I love this distribution. Um, I've used, been using it for about a week. Works very, very well. You can see I've basically got it set up on the default um, icon theming, default GTK theming. I believe this is, um, yeah, except for a different, um, a different background that actually still came with the distribution itself. Alrighty then, guys. Um, it has come towards the end of this video now. I'll give a little shout out really quickly to Lyft Linux. Um, yeah, he was the only one who commented on my post about KDE Neon. Um, alrighty then, guys. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Please be sure to, uh, as always, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.